We built this house in 1952. It's that same year we went over by Wyandotte and dug these pine trees up. They were only about that tall. Dug them up and planted them. And that's all they've grown in, uh, since 1952. There's Rosemary. And then I had a carport on, built onto it. I built this carport onto it. And then there was a driveway in here that went in into the carport. Well, we needed another room, so I enclosed it in. Of course, it didn't look like that then. Enclosed it and made a family room out of it and a carport on the back of it. Of course, it was all painted white or white boy, and we kept it in nice repair. But the porch was built with a little porch only about four by four or five by five, something like that. And it had it was built in a Spanish decor too. That's all I know to tell you about it. The rest. Um, I built this in 1955, and uh, the same year. No, two years later, I bought a new hearse for ten thousand dollars. Building here cost me ten thousand dollars. The hearse cost the same amount. But today, the building sold to the guy that owns it now, or just the building alone, for ninety thousand dollars, which is cheap. It's thirty-five hundred square feet in the building, and it's served in Afton since nineteen fifty-five. Lots in here. And eventually, we bought everything down to Scott Livers' store. The whole business down through there. And I can't recall what year I sold all that stuff. But I sold the funeral home in 19 and I'll say 50. I can't remember. 76. This first was the Johnson Hospital. It, uh, they just kept adding on and adding on to become quite an institution. And then, uh, I can't recall exactly what year it was, but uh, Lawrence bought Clarence Johnson, his brother, out. And later years, uh, he sold part of it. He sold all of it, rather, to a mental health clinic. And that's who's operated since then. Melvin Y. Burks, Chairman. They were building these uh, community housing around different places, and so I made a trip to Oklahoma City and uh, put in an application for it. I did all the paperwork for it and got the housing thing built. And it has really served a nice purpose. It gave some of these people some a nice place to live that they never would have had. And I, after we got it going good, I stayed on for about five years and then I I resigned and let somebody else take it over. I was into something else. I bought these stones from both Diane and Aideen and myself and Steve. They're, they're matching. And his parents are buried back there. His grandmother is buried over there. I don't know if they got that out of place. Okay, so what do you want done with your uh, body, Dad? What? When you die, what do you want done? Well, I want to be buried right there, only I want cremated, then bury my ashes there. Nadine will probably be cremated too, and her ashes will be placed over here. And I don't know what Diane and Steve are going to do, but I think they're going to be cremated also. That's what I want done. I will be cremated and I want to 
I was so eager to duck down through there, pour my ashes in the hole, then fill it up. Well, there's my grandmother. She died in 69. My mother died in 63. And Juanita is not dead. I just placed a stone there for Juanita. It's my sister. And uh, when she passes away, she'll be buried there. Back behind them is Norman and Esther Parks. Now, Gene never sends me the dates. So I'll to have Esther's dates cut in there. And they're full dates, so I'm going to have to find out what the full dates are. How much it costs to have Gene? Know.